when the Washington Redskins Joe Theismann broke a scoreless tie against the New York Giants last week with this third quarter touchdown pass to Ricky Thompson it looked like the skins were on their way to victory but once again turnovers once the great ally of the Redskins but now reaching epidemic proportions with 10 in two games cost them the win the final score 17 to 7. Meanwhile, the St. Louis Cardinals winless as well, uncovered a diamond in the rough and a powerful right arm in Dallas and quarterback Neil Lomax, as well as a talented, unique two-way performer in Roy Green, who worked as a defensive back, returned kicks, and made this sparkling 60-yard catch. Today, he gets his first start as a wide receiver in the NFL. The Cardinals and the Redskins, one will start to turn the season around today on CBS. CBS Sports presents the National Football League. Today, the Washington Redskins against the St. Louis Cardinals. Welcome to Bush Memorial Stadium on the final Sunday of summer, 1981. Gorgeous day, capacity crowd on hand. Hi, everybody. I'm Frank Lieber, along with Roger Staubach. Good news for the Cardinals today, perhaps unexpected. They get Jim Hart back. Jim's a great veteran quarterback. He's had some injury problems, but they need a healthy heart to get this season turned around, Frank. Speaking of injuries, how about the Washington Redskins decimated last week against the Giants? That sets up an interesting situation today with the return of Terry Metcalf. That's very ironic. Terry Metcalf has been a uh, big play guy in this stadium. Three years ago, he left St. Louis, and he's now with the Washington Redskins. They need a big day from him. We have two teams that are uh, struggling two teams that need a victory it should be an interesting game Neil O'Donohue will kick off for the St. Louis Cardinals as the Cardinals kick to the Redskins Harry Metcalf from five yards deep in the end zone you don't think he's anxious to play against his old teammates carries it out to the 20 where it'll be first and ten Here's the Redskins, offensive backs and receivers. You can see the changes there with Metcalf and Jackson in the backfield, replacing Riggins and Washington, who are out with injuries. Change in the offensive line, Joe Jacoby at a guard position, replacing Russ Grimm, who was injured last week. First and ten. Redskins ball at their 20. Theismann has put it in the air 48 times in each of the Redskins' first two games, and it's only produced two touchdowns. Starts off on the ground with Jackson. Fumble on the fray, and the Cardinals recover. So again, the turnovers, which have plagued the Redskins in their first two games. A critical fumble, and Lee Nelson making a big play for the St. Louis Cardinals, and the Cardinals come up with excellent field position. Here's the Cardinals offensive setup one change in their starting lineup there Wayne Morris in for Theotis Brown at a running back Brown out with an angle ankle injury Greg Lafleur is a newcomer he's starting a tight end for Chris Combs after Combs had a so so outing against Dallas great field position Cardinals from their 35 and Hart comes out throwing Roy Green first down inside the 20 and we get a flag as well so Roy Green making his first start ever in the NFL as a wide receiver he didn't even play wide receiver in college have to go back to high school yeah Roy is a, a defensive back by nature but he's got quick feet he's got good hands and he makes a fine move here with those quick feet and he gets a personal foul getting knocked out of bounds by Lamar Parrish number 24 personal foul Unnecessary roughness, number 24 defense, first down. Well, there you have the two things that have killed the Redskins this year, fumbles Penal and penalties. Penalties and turnovers. The run from scrimmage by Wilbur Jackson is probably one of the longest runs in first down. It looked like good news for a minute until he fumbled. First down, goal to go from the 10-yard line for the St. Louis Cardinals. LaFleur out wide to the right side. Green is off to the left. O.J. Anderson bouncing off the tackler. Boy, he made four yards out of nothing. Yeah, he tried to get outside, and he found he couldn't get outside, but with his strength and quickness, he ducked inside, and the strength got him through two tackles, and 
Here's the defense. Uh, Lorch was one of those men he got through, and Dave Butts, their big uh, defensive lineman, is having a great season. Mendenhall, a new starter in the defensive line. Mel Kaufman replacing Monty Coleman at a linebacker. He'll be out for several weeks. And the secondary remains intact. Mercer pass defense still number one in the NFC. Second and goal to go. Cardinals at the Redskins seven yard line. Anderson. A pickup of perhaps a yard by Neil Okowitz making the stop. Number 52, the middle linebacker, the Redskins, who had 12 unassisted tackles last week against the Giants. OJ coming off a great year. In 1980, has had less success, picking up just over 130 yards rushing in his first two games. He's a man that's averaged about 90 yards throughout his career. It is third and goal to go. Cardinals at the seven. What do you think, Roger? Well, this is the area that uh, you're working basically your tight ends and your back swinging over the goal line into that short area. Jim Hart had some confusion there. He started to call the play and changed his mind and called a timeout, and he's going to talk it over in the sidelines. And Hart moving remarkably well for a man who had minor surgery on his knee just two weeks ago. Timeout in St. Louis. Back in a moment. Here's to meeting new faces in new places. For that first day on the job, this Bud's for you. This Bud's for you. There's no one else who does it quite the way you do. So here's to you. for you that distinctively clean crisp taste that says Budweiser for all you do this buds for you third down goal to go for the St. Louis Cardinals as the Redskins defense digs in Cardinals trying to capitalize on an early break a fumble recovery which put him in business at the 35 Willard Harrell is in the lineup in the backfield along with O.J. Anderson. Pat Tilly in motion. Hart back to throw it. Swings it out and Anderson can't handle it. He had three Redskins over there but as strong as he is you never know what might happen. Anderson used much more as a receiver this year. In the first two Cardinal games he's caught ten passes. Last year he averaged catching just uh, two passers or so a game. Well, the Redskins did a good job that time, Frank. They wouldn't have scored if uh, Anderson would have caught the ball. He would have been hit immediately on about this five or six yard line. They need to get in the end zone. It was third and goal, so they have to settle for the field goal here. O'Donohue with an effort from about 25 yards. Roger Worley in to spot it. Gorgeous day, as we said, in St. Louis. Temperature in the low 80s at the present time. Virtually no wind at all, not a cloud in the sky. Capacity house of 51,000 looking on. That's good. So the Cardinals get three out of the turnover by the Washington Redskins. And with 13 14 left in the opening period, it's three to nothing. This car is out for a Sunday drive here at Testing Grounds in Ohio. It's the 1981 Honda Accord with front-wheel drive, four-wheel independent suspension, a five-speed transmission, and rack and pinion steering. We've tested the Accord under grueling road conditions you wouldn't encounter in a month of Sundays, because life isn't always a simple Sunday drive. Honda, we make it simple. said they'd install the muffler in an hour. An hour's up. Since when does an hour mean 60 minutes? Confidence, Karen. Confidence. Now, Sears will install the Muzzler muffler for $24.99 within 60 minutes of your authorization or there's no labor charge. Ah, Mr. Carlson, 60 minutes on the nose. Well, I never doubted it for a second. For great value and fast service, you can count on Sears. 
Monday, Brentwood hosts a slumber party. Well, I think that we should serve potato chips, pretzels, hot dogs. Might I suggest a dry red wine? <laughs> The deep man for the St. Louis Cardinals, Terry Metcalf, in the center of the three-man formation, O'Donohue kicking off, I should say, for the Redskins. And here comes Metcalf. 10-15, after the 20. And dropped at the 22-yard line. Cardinals play the three men up front, defensively, and three pretty good ones. Rush Brown, just a second-year man. That's interesting, walking off the field, number 25 was in on that tackle. Number 25 does a little bit of everything. That's offense, uh, defense, returns kicks, and he covers on kicks. Uh, he and Randy Love, number 40, are two, two excellent specialty team men in the league, and they're both on the Cardinals. First and 10. Redskins ball just beyond their 20-yard line. Joe Theismann calling the signals. And they go right back to Wilbur Jackson, and Jackson picks up good yardage out to the 27-yard line. Probably a, a very good move to get his confidence back, to give it right back to him. It is. Uh, he had a great preseason. Uh, came to came to camp healthy. He's uh, he's looked good in preseason. Riggins is hurt. He's got his chance now, and it's it's a good situation. He got five yards. Second and five is what the Redskins need. They need to get in that position where the defense is on edge. Uh, they can throw, pass. They can draw. They can screen here. You get second, eight, nine, and you have to give your your cards away, and you have to throw the football. So that's a good rush. They need more of that today on first down. On second and five, they stay on the ground and. Jackson looks like he's picked up the first. Tim Carney, number 56, making the stop. It's like Joe Gibbs is determined to run the football. The Redskins are dead last in the NFL in rushing offense this year. They've done nothing on the ground, and it's hurt them. Speaking of Joe Gibbs, he's finding out what it's like to be a head coach. Joe's got the yellow shirt on there. He's got his two signal callers, uh, Bro and Bugle, exchanging. We don't know who is calling the signals. One's live and one's uh, not alive. Not, yeah. not, that's not literally. Would you, would you care to rephrase it? From the 33 yard line, Jackson on his third straight carry, driving hard, gets another eight. So the Redskins stay on the ground and are doing well here on this particular series. Curtis Greer, number 75, making a stop. Well, the, the Redskins, Frank, uh, really have a game plan where Wilbur Jackson is a, a key ingredient in the game plan. I was told this before the game they they haven't uh, used the fullback a great deal but today they're in putting a few extra plays in there that counter move right there and they have some uh, outside plays to the fullback and Jackson's going to be carrying the ball today they want to establish that running game second and two and the Cardinals have now gone to a four man front Jackson driving for the first down and he'll be close you notice the Redskins lining up with just the one running back keep in mind they beat the uh, Cardinals twice last year. They won the last four as Jackson heads to the sideline for equipment repairs. They've won eight of the last nine. And they beat him handily twice last year without Riggins and, of course, without Joe Washington. That's right. They beat him with, uh, with Jackson and with Clarence Harmon. It is a first down, the second in this drive for Washington. First and ten at the 44-yard line. Redskins trail 3-0. Ten and a half minutes left in the opening period. Theismann. First throw of the day, and he's got a wide open receiver. Out of bounds at the 35 yard line is Rick Walker, the tight end, at number 88. And the Redskins have driven into Cardinal territory, have a first down at the 36. Rick Walker, number 88, is going into that uh, open area. He's got a back out here. The linebacker comes up on the back, and you see Walker getting in that little. Uh, empty zone there. That's kind of a banana route. He starts to go down the line and just breaks out a little bit into that seam, finds an open area, hoping the linebacker will come up on the back. If the linebacker goes back with him, Theismann lays it out to the outside. A banana route. That's a new one. That's a term, uh, an old term from an old football player. From the 36-yard line, Jackson around the left side. It has some running room and run out of bounds near the 20-yard line as the Redskins have an impressive drive going and even more important most of it is on the ground well we've got uh, we're five minutes into the uh, first quarter and here's Jackson breaking the outside he has now surpassed the leading rush of the last two weeks for the Redskins John Riggins had 25 yards in the opening game 28 this in the uh, game last week against the Giants and Jackson has already has 43 yards so 
He's got a long ways to go today, and the rushing game has been improved. They've worked on it hard all week, and uh, they've done something about it. Ball is at the Cardinal 23-yard line. First and 10. Third first down in this drive. Jackson again around the left side, and down finally around the 15. Against Dallas two weeks ago, the Redskins did not have a single first down rushing, and against the Giants, they had three. I mean, they picked up more first downs prior to this game on penalties, and they have rushing. Well, St. Louis is looking at Wash what Washington, uh, Washington has done, and they have looked at passing, and uh, they're confused now. The defense has not been uh, working to the point where they've worked on the run all week, and it's hurting them. The St. Louis defense is confused, and the Redskin offense is moving at will, and they're on the ground. This is have it marked at the 16. It is second and a long two for the first down. They're going to keep trying that left side. He drops the ball. Who got it? Redskins recover. The Redskins recover this one. Jeff Bostic, the center, making the recovery. Number 53, Bostic. For the Redskins, and of course his brother is an offensive lineman for the uh, St. Louis Cardinals, Joe Bostic, who starts at right guard. Third down, still a yard needed for the first down. Jackson has carried now six times and has picked up 51 yards. Big play here on third and one from the 14. Jackson and Otis Wansley are the running backs. Wansley, the rookie free agent. They give it to Wilbur, and Jackson has the first down as he nears the 12-yard line with that charge over the right side. Good job by that young Redskins offensive line not much experience there but they seem to be firing out pretty well doing a good job the Cardinal uh, linebackers in front three are not coordinated they're just not uh, in the right place the uh, Redskins are moving the ball around well on the ground at different types uh, different plays they're using three wide receivers and keeping a single back in the backfield in Jackson and they're not throwing the ball one pass the rest of it's been on the ground first down Ten to go from the 12 yard line of the St. Louis Cardinals. Redskins trailing three nothing. Jackson up the middle, fighting his way down to the six. You know, you're talking about the banana play. There's something else I want to ask you about that you were talking about earlier, but go ahead first. Well, that's a trap right here, right, right up the middle. The right guard pulled. Jackson came where he pulled from and had good uh, blocking by Stark, and he just bowled his way for an extra few yards, and they've got a Second down on the six yard line. Second and five. You said something yesterday about a waggle play that the Redskins use. Now, what is that? Well, it's a concept. They have a back in the flat and a receiver downfield, and the quarterback takes his choice. If the receiver's not open downfield, he lays it out in the flat, and he's got a guard or a tackle for a uh, center pulling out in front of him. Here's Jackson. Flag down. He drives into the end zone, but a penalty marker was thrown on the play. That's in the holding area. When that uh, official in that position throws the ball, he's seeding something in the interior part of the line, and usually it's a hold. And again, a penalty rises up and strikes down the Washington Redskins touchdown. You know, Joe Gibbs is so concerned about the penalties this week that at one workout, he brought an official out. Well, they've had uh, they had 11 penalties uh, last week, and that prompted bringing the official into practice. So he Holding is number 74 offense, second down. It's big George Stark. Their one experienced lineman uh, got caught with a hold. But they, they uh, have summarized the problem so far. Injuries and mistakes have been the key to the Redskins' uh, slow start. And, of course, today they've got a key penalty, and they do have one turnover. Second and 14 now as the ball is back on the 17, and Theismann throwing it, drills it over the middle. Good pass, and Don Warren pulls it down at the 5. Three yards short of the first down. And some boos rising from above, I think, directed toward the inability of the Cardinals defense to stop the Redskins at this point. Heisman is two out of two. Jackson already has eight carries for 59 yards. Well, Theismann uh, drilled that in. That was an excellent pass. It was between Favron, number 59, the linebacker, and Lee Nelson, the strong safety. The tight end, Warren, did a good move, turned inside, got the linebacker to freeze, and then turned outside quickly before the strong safety got over there, and Theismann drilled it on perfect time. Third down, three. Theismann. Again to Warren, stopped at the four, short of the first down by a couple of yards. Now he, he got rid of this ball pretty quickly. The only chance he has is to look downfield another second. Let, let, let the uh, linebackers drop off of uh, Warren, but 
he, he didn't have Nelson react downfield and Favron's over there also. It was just thrown too quickly out in the flat to get a touchdown. And they needed the uh, touchdown or at least to the one yard line for the first down. And they got neither. This will be a 22 yard effort by Mosley. He is one out of three this year. And his missed efforts. In fact, all of his field goal attempts have been from outside the 40 yard line. So this is far and away the closest shot he's had this year. And we are tied. Fine drive by the Redskins, most of it on the ground. Six minutes, one second left to play in the opening period here at Bush Memorial Stadium in St. Louis. It's the Redskins three and the Cardinals three. If your morning shave has turned into a nightmare, gotcha. Wake up to the exclusive twin action Norelco Rototract razor. Inside three floating heads, twin action grips and raises hair up. Then, razor's hair off, closer than ever. For twin blade closeness without a nick or cut, the twin action Norelco Rototract razor, quarter rechargeable. Because for close shaves, there's no action like twin action. You know, as soon as you settle into the leather-trimmed bucket seat and shift into first, Cimarron is a new kind of Cadillac for a new kind of Cadillac owner. With front-wheel drive, rack and pinion steering, and Cadillac's exclusively tuned touring suspension. Plus the best mileage estimates in Cadillac history. Cimarron, now at all Cadillac dealers. Best of all, it's my Cadillac. Scores of other games. Ted Brown in a one-yard touchdown run has given Minnesota the lead over Detroit. Cleveland, Cincinnati. Field goal in the first period, 3-0. Dave Jacobs on a 29-yarder. And the Jets in Pittsburgh, both winless going into this game. Russell Davis on a nine-yard run for the score. Stump Mitchell, the middle man, and the kickoff return flanked by Roy Green and Willard Harrell. Mosley, towering, high kickoff. Here comes the stumper. 15-20. Leading kickoff returner in the National Football Conference, and we get a marker thrown on the kickoff play. This telecast is presented by authority of the National Football League intended for the private use of our audience, and any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the express written consent of the St. Louis Cardinals and the National Football League is prohibited. Our referee today, Bob McElwee, the umpire Al Conway, headlinesman Norm Cragseth, Line Judge John Everett, back Judge Ray Douglas, the side judge Bob Rice, and the field judge Ed Merrifield. Illegal units of extra units, number 52, on the return team. First down. So the penalty on the return going against Charles Baker. Off the specialty team of the St. Louis Cardinals, which moves him back to the 11-yard line. And they come out with Pat Tilly and Roy Green set off to the left side, off to the right of your screen as you watch it. Jim Harded quarterback, Green. Mr. Versatility in motion. Otis Anderson. After the 13, another flag. It's like a preseason game with the number of flags we've had here in the first quarter on both sides. We had a chance to see St. Louis against uh, Dallas last week, and here's an interesting uh, statistic. About 46 yards, uh, Jim Hart will catch the man is a couple booths down the way here, Sonny Jerkinson, who's one of the truly great quarterbacks. Uh, Jim should do that today. Well, he's got 15 yards already. Encroachment number 57 defense lined up in the neutral zone. First down. Rich Red. Malott, the Redskin linebacker. That's a careless mistake, especially when you're talking about penalties all week long, and they've been killing him with the first two games. Last week, uh, St. Louis was being penalized on the kickoff team, too, and that's, that's something you just don't like. When you get a decent run back and good field position, uh, then they set you back uh, inside the 15 or 10 yard line. Those kind of things kill you, and you, you just can't have those mistakes and have good, consistent uh, drives and offense. Atlanta with a 10 point jump on San Francisco in their game at Atlanta. First and five. Hart giving to Anderson, looking for running room. A yard, maybe two, and then jammed up by Coy Bacon, number 79, the elder statesman of the Redskins defensive line, who admits to being 38 years of age, but uh, some have questioned that. Well, he still uh, comes to play. He's was going to be relegated to mainly pass rushing, but due to some injuries and some other problems, Coy Bacon is playing basically uh, almost the whole game for the Redskins. Second down three, Cardinals at the 18-yard line. <laughs> 
and Tilly in motion. Jim Hart calling those signals. Wayne Morris trying to get outside and does. Picks up the first and down the sidelines to the 27-yard line. First down, Wayne Morris starting today in place of the injured Theotis Brown. A great personal back for the St. Louis Cardinals. Good move by Wayne Morris here. It's a handoff. He looks like he's got some problems. He makes a little dip inside right there. Deerdorf does a good job holding his block on big Matt Mendenhall, and Morris gets to the outside and shows some speed down the sideline. Well, first down for the Cardinals at their 27-yard line after a pickup of nine yards on the play. Morris figures for last year, averaging just under four yards per carry. Score is tied at three. Nice fake by Hard, and he sends it out for Green. Green got behind his man, in this case, the bird, Joe Lavender, and not a very good pass thrown by Hart. No, if the field was wider, it would have been all right, but that was definitely <laughs> thrown out of bounds. I would say Roy Green had a step on him, a perfect pass, and uh, he could have caught it. Hart has worked out most of this week, shared the duties with Neil Lomax, who started against Dallas last week. Miami got a 42-yard field goal from Uwe Van Schaman to get the jump on Houston in their game down to the Astrodome. Jim Hart in his 16th year in the National Football League. Every time he throws a pass, completes one, sets Cardinal Club records, and of course he's moving up in the NFL records as well. Second and 10 from the 26. On the delay, Anderson out to the 30-yard line. A pickup of three, it'll be second down, seven. Anderson's had a couple of 100-yard performances against the Redskins in his two-year career. But he has never rushed for a touchdown against Washington in 83 carries. Well, the Redskins have had uh, the Cardinals number nine out of the last ten times, and they've pretty well shut down the Cardinals' strengths when they've played them. Last year it was the passing game and really held Anderson intact considering what Anderson's capable of doing. Third down. The Cardinals need seven for the first down from their 30. Tilly in motion. Hart blitzes on. The pass is blocked. Now it could have been Butts, number 65, who blew through there. We've talked about homecoming for Metcalf. It's also a homecoming for number 65, D uh, Big Dave Butts. Dave Butts uh, was traded to Washington. One of the, the interesting trades, Washington gave up two... Uh, first rounds in the second Dave Butts is a fine fine football player he's tough against the run he's big and he's he's been playing well to give up two first in the second uh, you question but it was a big trade one of the that biggest was, in the league. that was in the George Allen days Birdsong back to do the punting and Virgil say the rookie deep man standing on about his 25 yard line fair catch Say pulls it down at the 35-yard line. Butts, uh, of course, six seven, so he's blocked a pass or two in his day. Yeah, he's one of the big uh, people in football. Here he comes in on this uh, last pass that Jim Hart was trying to get into Pat Tilly, and he makes a move. Uh, it's a kind of a loop. Mendenhall's coming inside, number 76, and, and Butts loops around him, going to the outside, hoping to get the Cardinals confused. The protection was pretty good, but he jumped at the, the right time and uh, knocked the ball down. Four minutes left in the opening period, and the score is tied at three. Polaroid Sun Camera is a new system with a piece of the sun inside. It can turn bad light into good pictures. What's wrong with that sun? It's never where you want it, like now. See, you've never been so sure of an instant picture. Perfect. What's it doing good light? Then it uses just enough of its own light to touch up the small shadows. You use it on every shot, it can make any picture better. I'll buy that. They're going fast, folks. You've never been so sure. At GMC, we've been all about trucks for over 75 years. In fact, it seems that whenever a truck job comes along, there's a GMC dealer with a truck to do it. Big, small, and in-between size GMCs, shouldering the load and keeping an eye on costs. Like our new 82 trucks with a new 6.2-liter diesel engine, available in full-size pickups, Suburbans, and four-wheel drive jimmies. Offering a full line of trucks is our full-time job at GMC, because trucks are what we're all about. Saturday, catch the love bug on the premiere of Walt Disney, starring Dean Jones and Michelle Lee. It's freewheeling fun with the love bug on Walt Disney Saturday. 
Frank Lieber with Roger Staubach. Bush Memorial Stadium in St. Louis, 4.03 left in the opening period. Score tied at three. And the Redskins have the football after the 35-yard punt by Birdsong. First and ten at their 35. Theismann with good protection, drills it, and finds his receiver for the first down. He's been on target. Ricky Thompson, who scored the touchdown for the Redskins last week against the New York Giants, picks up the first at the 48. We've got a play, uh, play action here. Uh, Theismann fakes to Wilbur Jackson. He's got two tight ends in the game, so Jackson can run, basically run to either side, and that's why they were having success before. This time he fakes it to Jackson, holds the linebackers, and lets uh, Monk get in front of, uh, Ricky Thompson get in front of uh, Tim Collier. Got Greg McCrary in there at tight end who just came in on this play. Jackson taking the handoff and continues to drive forward, picking up some excellent yardage on the ground as he moves it into Cardinal territory at the 45-yard line. Falcons are really pouring it on San Francisco. This is still in the opening period. And Atlanta leads it 17 to nothing. Lynn Kane scoring on a 18 yard pass from Bartkowski who's thrown two touchdown passes and the Oilers have scored on uh, Miami and lead them 7 3 in the opening period our score 3 3 Redskins and the Cardinals second down three Washington at the St. Louis 45 Wilbur Jackson slow down at the line of scrimmage breaks loose doing a great job of running and picks up a first at the 35 and you can hear the boos now for the Shoddy tackling on the part of the Cardinals. Nevertheless, you got to give Jackson some credit. Oh, uh, really, a lot of credit there. And of course, the this is a different Redskin football team here running the ball. Here's Jackson going outside. Charlie Baker, number 52, breaks through right here. He has him stop, but Jackson uh, has enough acceleration to get back inside. And Dawson, 73, misses him. And finally, Pollard, number 82, all the way from the other side, brings him down, or he would have scored. First and ten. Nose of the football just inside the Cardinal 34-yard line. Wamsley and a flea flicker back to Theismann. Throws long. And that's six points. Ricky Thompson. That's the oldest play in the books, the flea flicker. As Wamsley, the fullback, tossed it back to Theismann, and he drilled Ricky Thompson. Actually, he had two men wide open. Art Monk was also wide open coming down the near sidelines. Well, here's the play. Uh, it's a handoff to the fullback right here. Fullback stops, pitches it back. Theisman gets a little pressure right here from the linebackers, but then he sees Thompson coming over the middle, drills it right on the money, and of course, uh, Ken Green, the safety, was confused. He came up, number 37, and then tried to get back, but it was too late. Thompson made the play, and it was a uh, excellent execution, a good play. That's the area to do it in, into, the, into that plus territory, 30-yard range, and uh, the Redskins pulled it off. Mosley tacks on the extra point. And the Redskins offense, which has been invisible the first two weeks of the season, showing signs of coming to life today against the St. Louis Cardinals. Coming up next week on CBS Sports Saturday. A lot of talk, of course, about boxing and the welterweight fight the other night. Here's a guy continues to try to make his comeback. Roberto Duran. Can he do it? That's a that's a great story. Duran came back uh, in his last fight, looked good. He's he's uh, got another shot here before the, I guess the big rematch someday with uh, Sugar Ray. But Duran is a, a gritty, tough fighter, and it should be a great boxing match. Luigi Menkilo is his opponent. He's the European welterweight champion from Italy, and a good one. There's Jim Hannafin, the head coach of the St. Louis Cardinals, with the headset. Interesting story too about uh, Hannafin and about Joe Gibbs who coached here in St. Louis together under Don Coryell. They were together here for three or four years and in San Diego they were together a year. Uh, you know Gibbs today is uh, showing what he's made of. He's a great great offensive coach and uh, I, I think based on what we know about him have met him he's he's going to be a fine uh, football coach in Washington. He's making some adjustments today. He's changing some philosophy using two tight ends two wide receivers a fullback. They've come in to run the football, which goes against Eric Gibbs, but they're doing a good job of it. High kick and rather short this time. Stump Mitchell. Was high enough to signal for a fair catch. 15, 20, 25, 30. Mitchell down the sidelines and bumped out of bounds at the 42-yard line. Fine return by the number nine draft pick from the Citadel. One of the real surprises to come out of the NFL draft this year. Number two rusher in the country last year to uh, George Rogers. 30 yards on the return. This Redskins specialty team uh, has always had a great reputation. 
I don't believe this year they're playing as well as they have in the past. They're making some mistakes. There's been some penalties, uh, some uh, turnovers, some fumbles, and they've let teams get out of trouble uh, more so than an old Redskin uh, specialty team has done in the past. First and ten, Cardinals at their 42-yard line. Jim Hart back to throw it. Protection is good. Down the middle it comes, and that is good for six points to Roy Green. Boy, he put that one on the money, Frank. First touchdown reception in the National Football League in his first start as a wide receiver. He beats Joe Lavender. It's off of a play action fake, and Lavender must have froze for just a split second. Green gets behind him, and Hart leads him. Lavender started to catch up with the ball, uh, made Green run for the ball, and he did. He ran for it. He caught it. Excellent play. Good throw. Off of a fine play action fake. 58 yards on the touchdown. And O'Donohue will try to tie it up here with a minute 45. And he has it blocked. So the Redskins maintain their lead at 10 to 9 as the block came up the middle. Roy Green. He's quite a story today as we outlined at the start of the show. Roy Green, number 25. Going down, the play action fake is right here. Lavender looks into the backfield for one split second, but Green's speed, he's... He's very fast. He gets behind Lavender. Lavender can't catch him. The ball's thrown in stride. Lavender starts to catch up. They're looking for it, but the ball's thrown in stride, and Green makes the catch. And good concentration. Jim Hart likes Roy Green. He says he's a defensive back. Uh, as far as his attitude, he's nasty. He'll go in, and he'll catch the ball. He'll get into a crowd and catch it. He's got good hands. Of course, that time, it was just a, a good throw, and uh, he was free for the touchdown. Well, there's Jim Hart, and with that throw, he has just... Move past Sonny Jurgensen as the fourth leading all time career passer. And speaking of Jerky, this shot to take it to Sonny down on the sidelines. Before the game, he is now a Redskins radio broadcaster in the booth to our right. I don't, I don't know how you feel about it when someone passes one of your records. You've had that happen to you in Dallas with Danny White. Oh, no? yeah. What do you think? Well, it's, it's inevitable. I'm a fan of Sonny Jurgensen. Well, I saw him playing back in the old days. And Metcalf out to the 16. A little bit tentative bringing that one back. He's a great quarterback. Stump Mitchell came up with the tackle. Well, it's fortunate for the Cardinals that uh, Green didn't forget where he was playing and knock that pass down. <laughs> I mean, once a defensive back for your entire college and pro career. It was a big extra point we uh, we've, we saw block Matt Mendenhall number 76 got a hand on it and it, it uh, changes uh, the perspective with a Redskin one point lead wide open offensive game so far on both sides Metcalf back to the line of scrimmage and that's about it when Metcalf was introduced he got somewhat of a mixed greeting here in St. Louis an interesting feature on Terry this morning on the uh, the CBS News, the uh, Charles Corral's program, Sunday morning. Trying to come back, people questioning whether he still got it. Five years here in St. Louis, great favorite. Then left in a contract dispute, played three years in Canada, and now trying to come back with the Redskins. The Cardinals have uh, got a fifth round draft choice from the Redskins this year in exchange for the rights. Flag down as Metcalf carries out beyond the 20 yard line. I think the Redskins had illegal formation. The tight end was off the line of scrimmage, and if that flanker back isn't on the line of scrimmage, you have some problems. That flag was thrown pretty quickly, and it looked like a formation problem. But I guess it wasn't. Good try, Roger. It must have been on <laughs> St. Louis. It certainly must have. Well, Someone was lined up off sides because it happened real very quickly. The flag was thrown before the play almost. You just caught it from up here, and the officials didn't catch it. See, Here's a call from the referee, Bob McElwee. Encroachment, number 75 defense, lined up in the neutral zone. Second down. So the encroachment penalty against the St. Louis Cardinals, Curtis Greer. Ball is at the 21-yard line, second down, five. Redskins leading 10-9. We're down to 56 seconds left to play in the opening period. Jackson. 
Jackson prior to that play had rushed 12 times in the first quarter for 82 yards. That's a very impressive figure for a team that hasn't run the football. That's another first down. Wilbur Jackson, of course, obtained uh, from San Francisco. Lost the skins a couple of draft choices last year when they didn't uh, have uh, Riggins with them. Theisman hadn't done badly either. Has he's it? using his, his people real well, hitting those tight ends in the seam, and he's five for five. First and ten from the 27-yard line, Wilbur Jackson. Stopped this time after a pickup of just a couple of yards, short of the 30-yard line. Of course, the Redskins have, on the first part of this drive, used the two running backs at the same time, Jackson and Metcalf, two wide receivers, a tight end. They've gone back to what was successful early in the game, of using two tight ends, two wide receivers, and having Jackson back in the backfield. That's been a good formation for him. Jackson can pick his way. He's got a tight end on each side. He can run to either side, and he can pick his way. And we have a injured Cardinal on the field right now. That's Eric Williams, one of the inside linebackers, number 55. We're perusing the press guide, and uh, I notice he named his son after J.B. Kane. They were very close, uh, good friends. J.V. Kane was a number one draft choice of the Cardinals, and he had an untimely death in training camp, a great tight end. An excellent tight end, was coming back from some surgery and was looking good in training camp and uh, died on the field, and it was a, a tremendous loss to the Cardinals, used, losing a fine person, and uh, Eric named his son after J.V. Well, that's something you've got to be familiar with, the old smelling salts treatment. That'll do it for you, won't it? You've, you've had that a few times. Not a few times. Sometimes it worked, and sometimes it didn't. But it's not a knee or it's not a shoulder. And Coach Landry said, well, it's only his head when it happened to me. It's, o it's he only his head. That's right. <laughs> Williams fine inside linebacker. I wonder why they nicknamed him Red. Can't understand why. There's to be all right. He'll come out for a breather for a couple of plays or so. And E.J. Jr., number 54. The number one draft pick of the Cardinals has replaced him. Jim Hannafin. They got off to a lousy start last year. Wound up 5 and 11. Hannafin trying to prevent it from happening this year. That's the end of the first quarter as the gun sounds with the score. The Redskins 10 and the Cardinals 9. You know people like us. We're teachers. Firemen. People just like you. These are the uniforms we wear at work. But these are the uniforms we wear when we serve part-time in the Reserves and the National Guard. You see, in the Reserves and the Guard, you not only serve your country, you're part of a first-rate team, training alongside real buddies. Yet while you serve, you can live at home and keep your full-time job. Because in the Reserves and the Guard, you don't have to give up one life to live another. The Reserves and the National Guard. Talk to your local recruiter. The 1981 Honda Prelude is a pleasure to look at in many different ways. You can look at it as a sporty car with front-wheel drive and sleek, racy looks. You can look at it as a comfortable car with a luxurious interior and power steering that comes with the optional automatic. You can look at it as an economy car after... CBS Sports coverage of the National Football League is sponsored by Honda. We're kicking off our season with an all-pro lineup of cars. Honda, we make it simple. And by the Champion Spark Plug Company, the Spark Plug Specialist. Frank Lieber with Roger Staubach at Bush Memorial Stadium in St. Louis as we head into the second period. It is second and eight with the ball at the 29-yard line of the Washington Redskins. Now, you and I saw the uh, Redskins against the Cowboys a couple of weeks ago. Are they showing a lot of different things today, Roger? Well, this is the big formation here. You've got the two wide receivers and two tight ends and Wilbur Jackson in the backfield. One setback. That's Jackson, and he's been very busy on the receiving end of that pass. Looking for some blocking help and struggling forward near the first down, but just short of it at the 35-yard line. Curtis Greer, number 75, made the stop. Big number one draft choice a year ago. Out of Michigan. So Jackson with a very busy afternoon. As Roger mentioned, he had an outstanding preseason, but John Riggins was anointed with the number one job. Riggins came down with a knee hurt last week against the New York Giants. Jackson getting a big opportunity 
and making the most of it thus far as he's approaching the 100 yard rushing mark individually. On third and two, Jackson stopped short this time. Virtually no gain, not close enough for the first down. And the Cardinals will have to punt. You know, Jackson has almost picked up as much yardage rushing as the uh, Redskins had for their first two games. That's exactly right. He's done an excellent job running the football, and they're blocking good at the point of attack. He's He's got the ability with those two tight ends to run to either side, and the, uh, the blocking's been good, and he's been picking his way. We'll keep you abreast of other scores throughout the course of the afternoon. San Francisco has finally scored on Atlanta. Stump Mitchell is the deep man standing at the 20, and Mike Connell to do the punting for the Washington Redskins standing on his 20. Skins of Big Dexter Manley going down as their deep man. Mitchell at the 30, 35, and runs into a huge traffic jam at about the 37 yard line. And St. Louis goes to the offense once again. First and 10, Redskins leading the Cardinals by a margin of a blocked extra point. This is the idea behind the IBM Electronic 75 typewriter to help secretaries be more productive automatically. It has automatic retyping and revision, automatic centering and underlining, automatic erasing and column layout. The IBM Electronic 75 typewriter. It saves time, and whatever saves time is more productive automatically. Ms. Jones, are these your gloves? He was as practical as any of us, but he hid it well. Behind a certain flair and style of living, even the car he drove, a 1982 Cutlass Supreme, an Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme. To the casual observer, it was the epitome of style, offering no visible clue as to how practical the man who owned it really was. You see, he knew. Even today, there's still room to do it with style. Why is television the way it is? Some answers from Hollywood and Madison Avenue when 60 Minutes unveils a brand new story, tonight on CBS. Cardinals first and 10 from their 38-yard line. Cardinals have been wrapped a lot because of the lack of success of their drafts in recent years, but in the last two or three, they have really come along. Some excellent personnel out of those drafts. Jim Hart is at two of his first five throws so far. Dave Steef, number 84, in motion, and the big man, O.J. Anderson, gets the call. Gets a yard. I believe he's a marked man today. Talking about the draft, though, out of the 79 draft, of course, that's where Anderson came, the first five picks of the Cardinals are now starters. Out of the 80 draft, they have seven players left on the team, and they have nine rookies out of this year's draft on the team, so they've kind of turned around in that area. It's been a big difference. When you see a running back like Anderson going up that line of scrimmage and having to shift gears so many times, something is not going right in the running game. The blocking is breaking down, or the Redskins are doing a good job on defense. He's not running straight ahead. He's juking too much at the line of scrimmage. That's a good point. Second down nine. Hart goes to the air. Pass is incomplete, intended for the tight end, Lafleur, at about the 50-yard line. Hard throw, but catchable. Neil Okowitz, the middle linebacker, defending. Redskins are very thin at the linebacker position, particularly since they lost Monty Coleman last week, who was perhaps their best linebacker. Monty Coleman's uh, developing into one of the best linebackers in the NFL. He's got great speed, good range. He's getting some experience now, and uh, they're going to miss him for a few weeks. Third down, nine. Jim Hannafin uh, spent a lot of extra time with the Cardinals offensive line this week. They've had their problems first couple of games, despite the fact they're pretty much a veteran outfit. Bart hasn't paid off that well. Hart out of the pocket hits Anderson over the middle at the 50. Rich Malott, number 57, grabbed hold of his jersey. He's a tough man to tackle just by the jersey. That's a first down at the 46 of Washington. There was a little confusion. Uh, Anderson went in motion out to the left. Malott started to go out, then he hesitated, then he went back out, and he had uh, Anderson man to man, but there was some confusion. But Malott had to take him, and, uh, of course, the play was set up well, and Hart hit him on the numbers. 
16 yards in the pickup. OJ is saying something to Malak. What do you think he said? I, don't, I wouldn't say anything until the game was over, say the truth. <laughs> First down, Cardinals driving at the Redskin 44-yard line, trailing 10-9 in the second period. Wayne Morris bumps it outside, cuts back in, takes it inside the 40 to the 39, and a They're yellow gonna flag. They're going to get Dave players. Steef out there, number 84, uh, kind of walked around the uh, linebacker and pushed him in the back. Joe Sensor just got a five-yard touchdown pass from Tommy Kramer. They get 14 to nothing. So it goes against the Cardinals. And a huge groan comes up from this capacity crowd of 51,000. That was unnecessary, too, because Morris uh, really didn't get any use out of that push block, and uh, he pushed him in the back. It's kind of a late block. Illegal use of the body, number 84, offense. Blocking from behind, above the waist. And that tells the story pretty well. Moves the football back to the 49-yard line of the Cardinals' end of the field. And it is now first down and 16. <laughs> Steve in motion for St. Louis. Hart, good protection, sideline throw to Steve, made the catch, goes out of bounds, short of the first down at the 38-yard line. However, bring it back, holding, coming up against St. Louis. I thought he had extra good protection. Hart was injured in the first quarter of the Cardinals' first game, suffered a knee injury after completing three out of five passes. Holding. Number 68, offense. First down. Terry Steef. There he is, number 68, guilty of the holding call. That's when he went to duck into that huddle and just disappeared. So now the Cardinals, as a result of two penalties, are back on their own 39. That's quite a few penalties for this early in the game. Yeah, they've got a first and 27, so you don't want to go for the whole ball of wax here. You want to maybe get to 10 to 15 yard area, take Take something that uh, you can get and worry about second down. If you go for everything, you're in second point seven. Trying to pass. set up the screen over the middle. Nobody there to receive it. Anderson was in the middle of a traffic jam there. It couldn't get loose. Well, the Redskins recognized that. Dave Butts uh, started to come in strong. He saw the screen. He backed off. Coy Bacon slid over there. Also, uh, Olkowitz was in, in the area. So they had that play uh, pretty well under control. Hart still receives his plays from the sidelines. They signal the plays in from the bench. And for a 16-year quarterback, you begin to wonder a little bit. I'm, I know uh, you're the wrong guy to ask about that. I'm a big believer in the quarterback calling the plays, but that's not the uh, philosophy overall in the NFL. Not anymore, no matter how many years' experience you've had. Second and 27. Willard Harrell in motion. He caught a touchdown pass last week against Dallas. Hart trying to get it away. Anderson off his fingertips. Appears to be, well, I think Anderson is complaining to the officials now that he was held up at the line of scrimmage and couldn't move out. But no penalty called on this one. Dexter Manley, number 72, even though it was a screen, someone released him too quickly. There was too much pressure uh, too quickly on Hart. And someone covered up there at the line of scrimmage for the screen. So uh, the Redskins had pressure, plus they had someone there to take their screen away. Here's number 72 coming from the right side of your screen that puts, his, puts the pressure on there. Plus uh, Kaufman, the linebacker, number 55, was in the area, and he recognized screen. So the Redskins did a good job. Anderson looking at that replay, claiming that uh, Kaufman interfered with him rather than held him up, really. Now St. Louis with a third and 27 of coming from their 38-yard line. Hart, sideline throw. Green is out there. He's got it. Oh, fine catch by Roy Green. Well, he got behind Lamar Parrish this time, but Jim Hart laid it in there perfectly. He had some pressure on him, and he laid it up. And Green, uh, with that quickness of his, got behind Parrish before Mark Murphy, the safety number 29, was over there. That's a first down. This is a third and, and long, and... They, there was a double team with Parrish was running with Green. 
Murphy was going to be there to help deep, and uh, Hart just laid it perfectly to the outside, to the sidelines, and uh, Green ran under it. Here's Parrish running with him. He knows he's got help deep, but Hart fades the ball to the outside and just perfect position to, to catch it, and of course, Green had good concentration on the ball. 35 yards on the play and a first down for the Cardinals at the 27-yard line of the Washington Redskins. They go back to the ground. Anderson trying to get outside. Runs into heavy traffic at the line of scrimmage. Has to fight to get to the 25. Pickup of a yard of the play. It'll be second down nine. You know, on first down, you always have a force man on defense. A force man is someone that's going to turn and run inside. Sometimes it's the linebackers going wide to the outside or the st strong safety coming across. Tony Peters, number 23, is an aggressive strong safety. He was the force man. He came across, and uh, Anderson had no chance to the outside. Malat comes out of the game, and Kevin Turner comes in at a linebacker position. Well, Green's off to a pretty good start, I'd say, in his first game as a wide receiver. Not bad. Ten minutes, 20 seconds left in the first half. Redskins leading 10-9. Cardinals threatening second and nine at the Washington 25. Steve starting in motion. Hard to throw it. Wayne Morris, the intended receiver. Well, they were testing uh, Kevin Turner, number 54, the linebacker. Wayne Morris is swinging out of the backfield, and Kevin Turner, 54, had a man-to-man -man down the sidelines, and they were pretty even. Hart seemed a little mad at himself after throwing that pass. As we said, Jim's been around 16 years. You've played against him many years. What would you say are his strongest attributes? Well, he's, uh, he's very smart. He's got a good arm, good release, and Jim Hart has been a... Just a solid quarterback in that pocket position. He's not a scrambler and an excellent arm, though. He's got good anticipation, and he also can drill the ball when he has to. His arm is uh, not into the Bradshaw Cannon category, but it's strong, and he can do, uh, he's got a good touch in the short passes also. Big play in this drive. Third down, nine for the Cardinals at the 25. A flag goes down. Looked like Harrell was in motion. Pass is complete to Anderson. That would be good for a first down, but there was a marker down as it looked like two men started in motion. Harold started, so did Anderson, and that's a no-no. Harold stopped rather quickly, but the officials caught him. He would have been all right in Canada. You can have people in motion, two people, but here you cannot do it. So the officials will bring it back with yet another penalty flag. And a Cardinal first down is wiped out. Ball has moved back to the 30. Illegal shift. Two backs in motion on the offense. Third down. So a penalty of five yards in the play makes it third and 14 for the Cardinals at the 30-yard line of the Washington Redskins. You want to call one here? What do you think? Well, they, have a, they overcame a third and 27. Third and 14, uh, based on what the Redskins want to do, they're going to double the wide receivers, and I look for maybe a tight end over the middle. I don't know, Roy Green's a good back. Boy, he's going. Green was flanked off to the right. Hart's in trouble, gets it away, but can't put anything on it. Now, Jim Hart mentioned one of the things uh, the Cardinals had to do was to beat the Redskin blitz on third down. And sure enough, that time it was a blitz. There was pressure immediately by Rich Malott, number 57, and Hart didn't have much of a chance. His receivers were man-to-man -man downfield. It's number 57 coming in on the blitz, and also uh, Kevin Turner, 54. And they just uh, applied too much pressure, and that was it. This will be a 47-yard attempt by Neil O'Donohue to put the Cardinals back in the lead. And that's the point blocked earlier. This one is long enough. It is good. Neil O'Donohue, who came to the Cardinals after playing with Tampa Bay. Trying to get a big dividend. 1980 Winter Olympics. Hockey team captain Mike Ruzioni helped clinch the gold for the U.S. I'm Mike Ruzioni, the artist. Budweiser asked me to paint with these to help raise funds for America's Olympic athletes. Now you can own my painting and help our athletes train for 84. After all, there are a lot of Picassos. There's only one, Ruzioni.
Call 1-800-325-1488 for more information. Homeowner's insurance or car insurance. When you have a claim, you want fast, fair service. State Farm agents see that you get it. For some claims, we can even pay you right on the spot. On other claims, your agent works with experienced State Farm claim specialists. Whether it's a homeowner's claim or a dent in your fender, we work as a team to give you fast, fair service. State Farm teamwork, it takes the hassle out of claims. And like a good neighbor, State Farm. 